see that you have turned this idea into a political movement and that you led all the decision makers. In the earlier event, I praised, and I will praise, for the record, all the elected officials. But the truth is, we're here today because of all of you. And I just want to say on behalf of all the folks at Blue Water and Babcock, the special debt this state owes is to all of you and the people like you are not here. So thank you all very much. At Blue Water, we talk about near-death experiences. You all live with them. Uh, many of which you haven't even heard about. <laughs> When the unauthorized story is told on uh, whatever reality show, you will hear about them, but really at every turn, we turn to you and Rob and Nancy and Jim and the others turn to you and you never lost faith as we never lost faith and together we finally got this done. And to see Delmarva stand arm in arm with us and hear them say the things that they've said and folks, wait, we have a signed deal. <laughs> and I'm going to give away my punchline, which is the most important thing for me, they agree not to sue. <laughs> and for the lawyers in the room, I think they know that that's you. So, really, I just want to talk very briefly and go over some of the highlights, but as is true of all Blue Water events, we want this to be a dialogue, and really, this is more like a family gathering at this point. All of us have worked closely together, um, and I really just want to talk with you and be with you and answer any questions. And Jim Lenard is going to talk about what's next. Of course, he's talking to Wolf Blitzer now, or maybe Katie Furrick. Um, I think Walter Cronkite has come out of retirement. He made a mistake with Cape Wind, and he's going to endorse the project. And maybe Teddy Kennedy, we'll see. Anyway, um, it was really a very good outcome. I think you all perhaps have been on listening to the radio and heard the details, but really I do want to take the occasion to formally thank Lieutenant Governor John Carney, uh, Senator Tony DeLuca. At a crucial moment, they stepped in, they brought the parties together, and we hammered out this deal. And I want to make special mention to the head of North American Wind, Hunter Armistead. A lot of you don't know Hunter. He handles a much larger portfolio in the Blue Water portfolio, the fourth largest wind developer in the world. Hunter is jetted off to talk to some turbine vendors tonight about this project, but he and Tony and Gary were in the room, and with the help of the team, some of which are here tonight, we all got this done. But those three guys, you know, worked through the deal. It's a very good deal for Delaware. It's a deal we can build. It's a deal we can finance. And it's a deal that will show turbines off these waters earlier than they would have had because there'll be no litigation. Uh, one so. correction there, Peter. You're not going to see him up there. <laughs> Not even on a clear day. Rats! <laughs> <laughs> These are little routines. <laughs> you know, you made history the first signed offshore wind contract in the U.S. That's why CNN, I've been on the phone to the New York Times, the News Journal I'm sure will do an extra special story tomorrow, but really an historic day, as Rob said. Delmar is going to buy the output of 200 megawatts. The project can be as large as 600 megawatts. That's good news for you, the ratepayers, and it's good news for Blue Water. Good news for Delmar gives us flexibility and gives you additional benefits. If the project is bigger, of course, we'll have more environmental benefits in the Delaware Airshed, which is important. And I won't get lost in the weeds, as Jim always tells me, it will reduce pricing, the marginal pricing in the area because we're injecting stable priced and I soon believe cheaper power into these nodes along the coast here. So you'll get cheaper power, whether or not it's being bought from the offshore project. Of course, we hope that Delmarva will buy quite a bit of power, but they're gonna buy 200 megawatts and we can expand the project. We're gonna work very hard to do that. And certainly this calling card will be the best introduction to, we've already been engaged in Maryland and New Jersey, but now we really go to them and say, you have a real project, please join. So it's a very good outcome. We're gonna get about 600,000 megawatt hours of clean, stable price power. That's from the Delmarva portion. And as I said, we can expand it. And really an important uh, headline tomorrow will be that Blue Water did not raise its price. We worked very hard to do that. We respect that you all pay very high prices for gasoline, uh, and we know what heating oil costs are. I'm tracking the energy markets every day, and the news is getting worse, I'm afraid. Looking at natural gas prices, looking at the fact that we now compete with the Chinese for Appalachian coal to keep our lights on. 
The Chinese now export Appalachian coal through the port of Baltimore into China. The price of Appalachian coal has gone up 82% in the last 52 weeks. This is a commodity that was supposed to never go up in price. So it's a worrisome day. So really this is a day for energy security, price stability, environmental benefits, but really it's a day for Delaware. So a very good deal. Um, I talked about the ability to have flexible size. As I said, that's a very good thing. All of you will continue your efforts and to the extent that you make noise and earn credibility for the project, others will come. Maybe corporations, others will want to buy additional power. Again, as fossil prices go up, others will want to join. And that's good for Delaware, Delaware's air, and all of you. Um, we do have two years to make that decision. We want to work as quickly as we can, but that is a part of the deal. And that was flexibility that both sides needed to try to understand. But we're not going to, there's no delay in the project, quite the contrary. We're going to be able to move faster. It just means the final project size is not going to be defined for two years, but it does allow us to move forward today because we can build and finance this project as it's currently designed today. And again, that's a very different thing from where we were in December with a hospital utility. The utility that's not going to sue us, our investors say, you've taken the biggest risk out of the equation. And when you look at projects worth of a billion dollars, one of the things the banks always look at is the risks. Having no risk of litigation is an enormous, enormous benefit. I want to talk about the RECs, because that's an important part of the deal. You, the citizens of Delaware, who get the same RECs that you always got, it's just that they'll be at a slightly reduced price and there will be a slightly larger multiple. But the balance will be the same. So that the total cost of the ratepayers will be the same, but there will be extra wrecks left over. Now that's important for Blue Water because it is a smaller project, and we didn't want to raise the price. So what that means is that there are extra renewable energy credits that Delmarva doesn't need and you, the ratepayers, don't need because you've already been satisfied. And we will take those renewable energy credits and sell them to New Jersey or to Maryland or more likely Pennsylvania. And those ratepayers, we need to buy RECs, and their utilities will buy, and that money will come back to Delaware at no cost to you, which will go into the project, which will allow us to do this project at a smaller size. Mm -hmm. So really, it's a very good deal for everyone. This benefits within Delaware. We take something of a business risk, which we're willing to do, because frankly, the RECs that we were selling to Delaware at $19.75, back when we priced these, RECs today are trading at 23 or more dollars in New Jersey. And as Jim Lennard said, and he'll talk about this later, we've been engaged both with Senator McCain and Senator Obama's campaigns. Everyone is talking about cap and trade. You talk to all the energy executives, the major ones in the US, and they believe this is coming. So to that extent, carbon drives up the price of fossil fuels. Not great for all of us, but it does mean that renewable energy credits get more valuable, which means that that money will come and help this Delaware project, again, without any rate impact to you. Finally, I want to talk about the cost spread. There was a lot of discussion over the last six months about cost spread. The legislation, which will be introduced tomorrow, does talk about cost spreading. We think that's good public policy, but here's the beauty of it. It's a mechanism, but it's not an obligation. If you believe folks like Professor Lord Kempton, Jeremy Firestone, they argue at current rates, blue water will be cheaper on day one. If so, there's no cost to spread over all the Delmarva customers. But if there is a cost to spread, the PSC will go through its process and you all get a chance to appear and testify and write letters and do all those good things. It'll be less contentious this time, I promise. And it will be there with you. But what it does mean is that you can have this mechanism, this sort of pressure we found, that will allow the project, if it is, quote, over market, to spread the cost. And someone asked earlier, and I'm anticipating a question, well, what about the industrial customers? Aren't they going to rise up and oppose this? We've done the modeling, we wouldn't presume to do it for the Public Service Commission, but we've done our own modeling, which suggests that it's a very, very modest impact for even the largest industrial customer in the state. Nothing that would cause them to even think twice. And so it's a pressure relief out for all of you, it doesn't hurt the industrials, it only has to be used if there is an overmarket, and it satisfies a perceived problem in the General Assembly. Again, a win-win-win. So when you add it all up, it's a very good deal for all parties, and those of us in business understand that deals get done when both sides get something that at the end of the day they really need. And that's what happened here. So we're really very pleased. And I just want to take some questions. Thank you all very much.